that you know corporate Jamaica is just shameless. This this big launch of Krispy Kreme, fried fried dump fried dumpling, fried sugar dumpling, right? What happened to the amount of with, with the amount of um pastry local pastry shops? Even though I don't eat these things, but I'm saying yeah. we have conversions here already. Why do we need to con these multi companies that are not adding to our health mm -hmm. adding to our standard of living and then they are the same one after they sell you crispy they turn around and come up with these lofty reports oh jamaica has this disease jamaica has that disease of course they do mm -hmm. crispy cream violin there's a violin there Violinist is gonna be there. There's gonna be it's a red carpet event for donuts. <laughs> it's embarrassing, right? Very. And what people don't Very. understand, people might say, "Well, you know, there's not enough. There's not um, healthy food options. Blah blah blah." But what people don't understand is, is like a cartel. Is like, you know. Is almost like mob economics. So when you see these built, they already have located spots in there for all the major fast food. Mm -hmm. They're gonna have a Japan house. They're gonna have a the next day. They're gonna have a pizza or, or or Domino's. They all link. They're gonna have a Starbucks. And the reason for that is these. Uh, these things are for money makers. When you're going to open a plaza and one of the the youth is three thousand per month, and you're gonna need a couple million dollars to fit it out, the only people who can afford ten million Jamaican dollars upfront to cover rent and fitting and staff and all of that. It's gonna be a juicy beef. It's gonna be a Wendy's because these people, not only do they have excess amount of capital, they have unlimited access to funding. So, KFC, Devon House, these people can walk into any banking institution and say, "I'm I'm opening up in Mobe. There's a new plaza in Kingston. There's a new plaza in Linstead. I need twenty million dollars cash to fit out the place." Why? Number one, you guys, you guys are going to line up when they open. So they're sure of a return on their money. The person, the landlord is sure of that 3,500 US every month. If Tifara and I open a juice salad bar, number one, it's not going to make sense for us to, to pay somebody 3,500 US every month for, for, for green juice and salad. Because how are we going to? to recoup our, our profits nobody is coming to spend fifty five hundred dollars on a on a on a on a piece of lettuce but you'll do that for fried dumpling which is what Krispy Kreme is yeah so it's the it's the mentality of the people it's corporate Jamaica it's a whole system that is geared against eating properly and making the right decisions and it's very embarrassing it's not even sad as it is embarrassing to be in a country like Jamaica, a paradise for natural, healthy things. And you cannot walk into a plaza and, and, and see a plethora of juice bars, salad bars. You walk into any plaza. I, I challenge anybody, walk into any of these pretty, pretty plaza in Kingston. You go and say Wendy's. You go and say what the next one name? Domino's. You go and say some nasty Popeyes. 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 You go and see some nasty Asian restaurant that you guys just buy because they have pretty seats and AC, and you just go in there and buy the same dirty rice and dirty chicken and box sauce that has been on the shelf for ten years. They charge you three thousand dollars and you pay without question. But then you go down to the fruit stall, man. Tell him that two hundred dollars is too much for a mango, right? But you sit and you make little TikToks. Oh, I am having Italian food today. Italian, Italian food is. <laughs> Listen, 
Tifar, I could go. I don't want to take over your life, you know, but I could go on. These, the same people who come to a healthy salad bar and talk about their gluten free, let the restaurant drop tomorrow. You'll see all of them sitting in there eating pasta and eating bread. Because that is true. Um, bread and meat and tomatoes. Right? But there's a class issue when it comes to food in Jamaica. Right? So if, if when all it takes for Krispy Kreme to become successful, successful is Uptown Jamaica's endorsement, um, corporate Jamaica's endorsement, right? And people are going to flock to it. If it was just a regular man frying up dumpling, no, everybody would, everybody gluten free. We're gluten free, we don't eat dumplings. They're better than dumpling, but they're not better than Krispy Kreme, right? And may, maybe it's because they have the hysterectomy money, so they don't care. <laughs> That's so true. Maybe. I, some people really view life that way, you know. I have my money can spend for my surgery, and, you know, they think that they can buy life and buy health. Truthfully. Yeah. Yeah, so I guess it all depends on your values and what you how you deal life. If you think life is living on painkillers for the rest of your day, then so be it. If you want to be sick for the rest of your days, then so be it. But there's a life outside of that. There are women who don't have any pain. There are women who don't need to wear deodorant because we exude no foul odor. I know it's hard for a lot of people to leave, but there are women who don't have painful periods, don't exude any foul odor. We don't have chronic yeast infection. From anywhere. From anywhere. Value. If you value fried dumpling over real health, mm -hmm. you, know, you have to make your choice. All right, so uh, the final thing I wanted to cover was, um, and this is this is um, coming to introduce now your, your new book. Uh, we want to help women, because we don't want women who have done myomectomies to feel like, you know, um, we're demonizing them and we, we don't want them to feel like we're, we're saying that, you know, it's, it's, it's you and there's us because at the end of the day, all our wounds are connected. And so we care about them equally as we care about ourselves and, and healing ourselves naturally. So we actually want them to heal and we don't want them to be going back to these surgeries and doing these surgeries over and over again and ultimately probably leading to losing their wombs altogether. So how possible is it for women to come back to, to balance after they've done a myomectomy? And, and how possible is it for them to avoid going back on the table? Well, you can definitely avoid back. The body is intelligent. The body is a miraculous machine. And it wants to heal. Your cells want to cure themselves. That's one of the things, the first thing it does when you go into fat, starts to repair yourself. Right? That's how badly your body wants to be whole. So mm -hmm. if you it with the right conditions, if you nurture it, if you love it, you know, the herbs are here. There's a lot of things at our disposal in nature that we can avail ourselves to. You can heal, of course. Your ability to heal is going to depend on the extent of the damage. So some have had multiple myomectomies. Some people have three, four myomectomies. Some people have had myomectomies where they've had to remove, have partial hysterectomies. You know, they are one of their cochlear tubes was damaged. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different levels, but he 
healing is always on the cards for us. Whether we heal fully, mm -hmm. whether we heal within a specific time, is all down to our particular bodies, our particular circumstances, and our history. But part of the purpose of that book, Never Going Back, mm -hmm. is to teach women about that, is to teach women that you do have the power. Even when you have, even when you, and even for women who have had hysterectomies, because there's a lady, a lady who contacted to say she, she got a hysterectomy, but they kept her over that. And now they found a huge fibroid on her ovary. What? Yeah. So this is why there is no explanation addressing these things. Well, I don't have a fibroid or I this or I that. We all we all have to take our work seriously. You know. But yeah, she had a, had a hysterectomy, but it left her ovaries. No, she has a massive fibroid on her ovaries. And she's devastated because she never wanted to lose her, his, her mm -hmm. womb. So to think that she removed her because she wanted to uh, uh, address fibroids and still end up with a large fibroid. You see? So, as Granny Granny said, short cut draw blood, long cut draw sweat. So it's better to, it's better to take the root of me, and it doesn't always have to take long. Again, mm -hmm. on your body it depends on what you've been doing before. Some women react quickly, literally overnight. I know a lady who did a one day water fast, and all her fibroids disappeared. So you have to have confidence in your body, have confidence in the decisions that you're making, be mindful, be purposeful, and be deliberate in what you're doing. Understand the connection between everything, the connection between your cosmetics, the plastic water bottles, the relationships that you're in, um, your, your internal dialogue, how you self-talk, all of these things can impact on you healing quickly and permanently. Oh. Okay. So tell us now, um, when is the launch of the book, your book, Never Going Back? This is your second book. Yeah. And when it, when is it going to be launched and where can we get it? Where will it be available? So my first book was just an book. Uh, but this second book, I want to print, make printed copies. Oh, yeah, because yeah. I really want women to kind of have a feel for it, like a manual, something that they can go through, read, and make notes. Um, that's gonna uh, the uh, it's the ebook is nineteenth of June. Oh, yeah, you're breaking up again. You're breaking up a little bit again. Oh, sorry, you hear it now. Go again. You hear me now? Yes. Okay. So I'm saying the um the the e is gonna be on the nineteenth, and then I will have printed copies available. Why is it breaking up at this point when when you're sharing all of this very important information that we need to hear? I can't hear you. you Sorry, said, I don't. I Something about the 19th, right? So the ebook e is dropping on the 19th, and then I'm gonna have the printed copies hopefully by the end of June. That's what we're aiming for. Okay, all right. So by the end of June, you should have available both ebook and the printed copy of the book as well, right? All right, congratulations on that. I'm happy for you. That's, that's mm -hmm. exciting, and I'm excited for the women who are going to have that as well to help them in their healing journey thank you and i am so going to get myself a copy as well thank you <laughs> appreciate you appreciate and you know tifara i have to say that um you were one of the women in the in my circle that actually inspired a lot of my healing because of fearlessness when it comes to approaching your true self just 
us, you know, accepting your, your hair, your skin, everything. Thank you. It motivated me as well, you know. I start with iron. I don't think we appreciate how the right people can affect change. So I just want to thank you publicly for that as well. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> so let's see if there are any questions. If anybody, I know, I know we lost a lot of people from the, the live before, but um, if you're still here with us and you had questions for Makeda, please just leave them in the comment section really quickly, because. I don't. I'm sure we've gone over. Yeah, we've gone over an hour now. We're we're almost at four thirty, so it's been an hour and a half. And we could go on and on and about these conversations. To be honest, you know these types of things, even outside of um, Instagram and social media, Makeda and I over the years have had plenty con long conversations about these types of things and things that affect our community negatively. So mm -hmm. we really could talk about it forever <laughs> we had some questions uh, but i think it was previous oh I, hey. I didn't read them so i do even remember it was hard to, to hear sorry no questions just big up ladies N uh, what did i say love you Keith. oh please oh yeah. <laughs> That's like one of his best, oldest friends from from way back. It is so big. Okay. Uh, nice. Thank you for joining us. All the all the horrible effects of my fibroids and been there through my journey. So, yeah. Yes. So, big up. Yeah, I remember. I I always tell this story. You know about one time. I saw you and I thought you were pregnant. And you know, no, the, the ancestor they must be there with me today because they said, Don't say nothing. Don't bother ask nothing at all. Just mind your business. And that's exactly what I did. And only to hear, you know, later on down the line that it was a fiber. And I was like, oh, I'm so happy that I said nothing. If you had asked me, I would have told you. I only really get offended when like strangers because it's not i mean you see me with my normally with my stomach fat, and then yeah. you see yeah. my stomach extended so a fair question but my only issue is like with strangers or people who barely know you what that, yeah. that is what what i find offensive but people who know me, my friends it you should have just asked me man <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I, let me tell you something about me. I know to mind my business. I wait until if you if you are pregnant and you wanted to share, I was willing to wait until you were ready to share. You know, that's just how me stay. But you know, I it, I'm so glad you raised that too because that's one of the things we forgot to address when you were talking about the mental effects of fibro. You know, a lot of women are depressed because. Everywhere they go, people are like, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? Imagine wanting that really badly. And mm -hmm. maybe fibroids are posing an issue for you. And so keep thinking about it. A lot of women, they get depressed over things like that. So we have yeah. to be sensitive to the, I think apart from the book, any resources you can point us to to shrink the fibroids, maybe I missed it. But yes, I did mention in the beginning that Happy Womb Club, if you go onto her page on TikTok or on Instagram, there are lots of information. Plus her, her previous book um, is also available and she details how you can shrink fibroids. But if you if you don't want to get the book, 
there is lots of information on just her Instagram and her TikTok alone. Lots of useful information there. If you go through, if you really want to hear your five words, you can go through every single video because all of them are sharing information that is vital to your healing. So I would look there. And I, Makeda, I don't know if you want to say anything else. No, no, yeah, definitely. Um, and and start to do like herbs, start to do your research, room healing herbs. Um, that's gonna lead you in. Farah uh, has some options for room healing herbs, iron building herbs, stuff like that is really gonna help you. Yoga. Anything that promotes circulation, hormonal balance, clean, gentle cleansing, um, detoxification, like that is what you want to grab at this point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And take, I don't know if you mentioned it, but, but you always do anyway, taking care of your mental health. You know, oh, yeah. so it's not just what feeding yourself in terms of food how, yes. how is the environment feeding you because the, the, the big elephant in the room don't know how nobody said it yet when i when my fiber was at its largest i was a vegan um but what people and a lot, a lot of people say oh well you got a fiber and you were vegan so it doesn't matter what people don't understand is the amount of trauma and stress that i was dealing with Time. So, my father was terminally ill. Um, a lot of issues was going on. Oh, yes. so, so, much, so many things going on, and I was dealing with a lot of anxiety. It was literally the most stressful period of my today. What made it more stressful was that I couldn't figure out what was growing like. So, that's why I had to back to be a time I would someone or, or talk to a herbalist they keep telling me the same thing oh just stop eating big that's useful but about women who do care so that's if you if you trust you can have a look at the book and see what those years taught me because I had to do the research myself because my case wasn't just a regular case oh just cut out dairy and chicken i had to go deeper i had to look at the herbs i had to look at the effects of fruits on the body um so check out the book are you guys hearing me my rain start fall heavy oh uh, yeah i'm hearing the frying but it's okay it's not that but we're still hearing you know i think there was another question oh what's the title of the book and please post on your page. Okay, I, I pinned Happy Womb Club. So, um, but the title of the book, remind us of the title of the first book again. Drink fibroids naturally. 10 simple ways. 10 simple steps. Right. And they, they can find a link to the book from your page, right? Okay, there's a link. You click it, you, it'll come up. Was somebody requesting to join us? Somebody requested to join us. I don't know. You want to? You want to allow that, Makeda? Sure. Uh, all right. Let's see. Oh. It's a man. Oh, okay. It's an angel. <laughs> Greetings. You there? Hello. Hello. Hi. What's your name? Where are you from? Hello, my name is Kofi Farms. I'm streaming from Nigeria. Nigeria from Nigeria. Yeah. And you? Oh, where are Jamaicans? Yeah, Michael. Okay, okay. That is good. Do you have any questions? Yes, yeah, every. Yeah, I do.
So I just come online, see you online. So let me check on you guys, though. Okay. All right. So why is... Hello? So what? All right. Thank you for joining us, then. Okay. All right. Bless you. Take care. Yeah, take care. You see them stop me now. I don't know how to take it off. Makita. Say what? You can't take me down. <laughs> me don't know how you want to take me down, right? If you can just exit, please. Makita die. Okay, let me go down. Although I'm doing something, maybe I'll request later. So, what are you guys discussing about? Okay, here we go. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. Wait, I think there's somebody else. Please, that was if you're joining us, please have a question about the topic that we're talking about. That was funny. Okay. Greetings. Hi. 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 Good. I'm What's your name and where are you from? My name is Bongani Penichendi. I'm a Zimbabwean born South African. Where? I'm a Zimbabwean born South African from Africa. He's in Zimbabwe. Oh, I'm from Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Yeah, I'm from Zimbabwe. I'm staying in South Africa. Oh, you live in South Africa now. Okay. Nice. Oh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. Like, yo. <laughs> Your guidance you. is really amazing. It's really, yo. Yeah. I use it in at work. Also, like, because I'm an artist. I work as an artist. So I work with like an artist creators. And, oh. yo, some of the words that you create on social media. And all that it inspires it inspires me, you know, how to handle yourself, how to be inside people. How to be one okay. of Do you have any questions on the topic though? Um I just join now, I just follow it. Okay. All right. Well thank you for joining us again. <laughs> All right. Okay. Stop it. Take care. You have fans, Tifaro. Eh? You have fans. Africa in the building. We love it. Yep. <laughs> we love have you been to the continent yet? Not yet. Have you? No. Oh, no, but it's, it's high on my We have to go. We have to go. Yes, I, I think so. Yeah, I'm, my bad I'm mind tired. Mind I, I, I think it's mind. time to start treating Jamaica like a vacation spot. Yes. I need to and find to be my home. home. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is it. That is it. All right. So I guess we don't have any more questions. I think we covered a lot anyway. So there's a lot of information there. And so I will try my best to make sure that it is reposted. And I'll put it on other platforms as well because, you know, we need this information out there. Yep, definitely. So thank you again. Thank you for joining me. Thanks for having me. It was a me. very good informative life. You're welcome. And thank you to everybody who joined us. I hope you got some really valuable information. I hope you found it valuable and you will use it as well because that's the most important part. There's lots of valuable information, but you have to apply it. You know, you have to be disciplined and do the work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's it. All right. So if there is nothing else, we're signing out now. So everybody.
but it takes care of itself and we link up in another life. Yes. Very soon. <laughs> All right. Later. Bye.